Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out this magic socket uh, by Kusanki, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, the model number on this one is Socket-100. So, um, this socket can do anywhere from a quarter inch to three quarter inch or seven millimeter to 19 millimeter. It also comes with an adapter here. Um, kind of tells you some things on the sides that it works with there. Um, just some manufacturer in information on the back here. So um, let's go ahead and open this up here and let's see what's inside. Got a warning there too. Always wear eye protection when working with tools. Um, and do not use grip sockets with air impact tools. So let's take a look here. So here is the socket and Here's the adapter in here. All right, guys, let's uh, take a closer look at the socket here, and it looks like it's a good quality socket. Um, all the pins on top there form around whatever you're using the socket for. Um, and I have a test board set up with some various things, and we'll test this out and see uh, how well it works, how good of quality it is. And then the adapter that they give you here too, it looks like a good, a good quality adapter. So um, let me just show you really quick. I have a bolt here and so we'll show how this works. Um, you can see all the pins in the socket uh, form around the bolt there to keep it in place. So um, pretty cool, but yeah, let's go ahead and let me put my safety equipment on and get the test board uh, you know, in place here and we'll go ahead and test this out and see how well it works. All right guys, so um, I have my bit screwdriver here with the adapter and the magic socket. Um, and then we have some different things we can test it out on here. I have a square nut, a bolt, a hook, an eye hook, and another hook. And we'll just see how well it works on each of these. Um, and then also after we're done with this, we'll try it with a socket wrench and with a drill just to see how well it works uh, with all the different tools. So um, first let's go ahead and try it on the square nut here. And when you use it, you do have to put a little bit of pressure on it just to get it to go around whatever you're working with. Um, and yeah, it's working really well. I can feel that it's not slipping. Even though I'm off center, um, you know, it's still working well to get the square nut off. So um, it did a good job there and was able to, to get that off. So next let's do the bolt here and same, uh, same thing with the bolt. You just got to put a little bit of pressure on it and you can see I'm off center on this one too, but it's still grabbing the bolt. Um, let me come to this side. It's still grabbing the bolt um, and getting it out without the, the socket slipping. So it's doing a good job on this one too. Um, and it was able to get that out as well. So next on the hook here, I thought this is cool that it works on these. And yeah, I can feel it grabbing onto that and getting that out as well was able to take that out. And then we got the eye hook here. Same thing there. And you can tell on some of these I'm off center, but it's still getting them out pretty easy. So, um, and then the last hook here. And yeah, you can see it got that out as well. So um, let's go ahead and move on to the socket wrench next. Uh, I'll get everything reset on the board here and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I got the 3 8 inch socket wrench here with the magic socket. Um, and let's just go ahead and try it out here. Um, you know, it's a little weird with the socket wrench because you're applying the pressure from like the side, uh, you know, versus uh, straight from the top. So, um, you know, that's a little weird, but uh, it's working well. Yeah, I can feel it's working well. So, and it, it was able to get the uh, square nut off as well. So let's move on to the bolt here. Same thing, and you can see I'm off center by the way the socket's moving, but it's still grabbing it really easily um, and not slipping at all. And was able to get the bolt um, all the way loosened there until the ratchet, you know, lost tension. Um, let's go ahead and try on the hook here. You can see I was really off center there, but it was still doing the job. I'm just gonna hold on to the socket, try to get some stability. 
And same thing, it loosened this up until the um, socket started losing tension and not getting the clicks on the, uh, the back swing. Uh, let's try on the eye hook here. Same thing, I'm gonna hold the socket. It's working well, it's not slipping at all. You know, the, I think the biggest um, issue with uh, the socket wrench is just that, you know, you're, you're putting pressure from further away from the, the item that you're working with. So um, it's a little more difficult. Um, but depending on what you're trying to do, you know, you might have to use the socket wrench setup. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not slipping at all. It's doing a good job. It's just... It's just awkward because of the way that, um, you know, you hold the socket wrench and not being able to put the, uh, the pressure that you need to from, uh, you know, the top down. So, um, okay, um, let me go ahead and get the board reset and then we'll try it with the drill. All right, guys, so I have it set up uh, on the drill here with the adapter and the magic socket, and um, let's just see how well this works. I'm gonna try to get this as centered as possible. You can see that that wasn't centered. It kind of, you know, spun a little bit wildly there, but it took the uh, square nut off there really easily. Let's try on the bolt here. Same thing, you know, I mean, it seems like, uh, you know, if you don't get it per perfectly centered, you know, it kind of wobbles like that, but it still takes, took the bolt out really easily, didn't slip at all. Uh, let's try on the hook here. Same deal, um, you know, it's really nice, uh, works really well. Let's try on the eye hook here, took that right out as well, and then we'll try on the last hook here. And same thing, it took that out really easy. So let's go ahead and give this magic socket from Kusaki a final recap and review. All right, guys, well, that was it. The Kusaki Magic Socket Model Socket-100. And it says it fits 1 quarter inch to 3 quarter inch standard and 7 to 19 millimeter metric. And we just saw it work. It did a really good job. You know, I think out of the, the three different things we tried it with, the... Uh, the drill, uh, the socket wrench, and the bit screwdriver. Uh, the socket wrench was the more difficult just because you're not putting the pressure that you need to for this uh, from the top, uh, you know, down. You're putting it off uh, from the side a little bit, so it just makes it uh, a little more difficult. It wasn't horrible, and, you know, there may be some jobs where you need to use the socket wrench, and it, it still worked. It was just slightly more difficult uh, than the other uh, tools that we tried it with. So um, I hope you guys liked this video, and thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.